Hi, Natalie. All right, thanks for kicking things off here. That's not always the easiest thing to do, so I, I appreciate that. Okay, this exercise felt a lot harder, harder due to the stairs and spacing between the words. Isn't that crazy just how much difference it makes adding the serifs and just changing the font to really get an appreciation of the counterform associated with each individual letter. It's really amazing that, 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 that each typeface is really have each typeface you look at has such unique characteristics and those characteristics have to be studied and looked at in order to process optimal letter spacing or kerning and tracking, right? I mean, it's really, really intense that it, 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 that you have to understand that kerning is based on individual fonts and not a general overall outlying um, kind of a, a global approach to kerning. So I, I think that you've got a good appreciation uh, based on your comments. Try to focus on craftsmanship and straight lines. And you can tell, Natalie, you can tell that your, 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 that your, craft, your craftsmanship is gorgeous. Beautiful work here. Um, I'm going to go to get curves and straight and straight to, to straight to straight, straight to curve and curve. Yes, I appreciate your feedback. No problem, of course. All right, let's go take a look. So what I want to do is I want to take a look, and I'm going to, I'm going to bring this up. Now, first of all, I, I don't know if you've looked at this yet, but this Welcome to Week 2 announcement is just loaded with really fantastic resources. So be sure to go through that, specifically this video right here, <laughs> and how to current the phrase Fire and Ice. So um, this is really a great, great uh, resource. Welcome to week two to get you acclimated in your further understanding and appreciation of letter spacing, both with um, serif and serif, sans serif typefaces. So I think you're, you're, you're really good here. I think there's a few things that, that we want to take a look at. And I'm going to do so by way of comparison. I think that's the best way um, to do that. But your baseline, mainline, cap line look great. Craft, craft looks fantastic here. It looks like you have a really good appreciation of the shapes of these letter forms. So that's fantastic. Now what I've done is I've, I've gone ahead and I've taken the file from that How to Current Fire and Ice video and I've, I've just placed it right here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing we can see is the overshoots. Well, you're not really depicting overshoots on your curved letter forms. We can, oh, by the way, you can take a screenshot of this and, uh, and for comparison, but you can see that overshoots on the curved letter forms are, are, are not dramatic, but they certainly are there. Um, as we can see right now, your um, curved letter forms, you have a little bit of overshoot on that E on the top, uh, mean line, but but we're not depicting overshoot here, so you definitely want to depict overshoot in your final iteration. Um, as far as everything else goes, I think you've got a good, good. you're showing a really good understanding of how some of the different portions of the letter forms. Watch that end right there, uh, right there, you know, you want to, that extends above the mean line. Um, at any rate, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, the actual kerning itself. I think the kerning is, is done very well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. To me, I think this is kerned perfectly. And this is based, honestly, on 30 years of experience. So um, so let's go ahead and take a look at comparatively. Um, so, okay, the, the eye, your eye, I think, can get tucked in just a little bit closer. Of course, you've got the tittle, the dot, uh, um, as it's going to interfere with the serif on the cap F if we get too close. We're not going to get too close, though. We're going to move that a little bit closer. Um, I do want it a little closer, though. In a situation where it gets recurrent really tight, there is an FI ligature in a lot of typefaces. So that is something that, is. and if you don't, if you're not sure what ligature it is, just, just Google typographic ligature, L-I-G-A-T-U-R-E. Um, and, and that'll show you how to use those. We're not using those for this particular assignment, however, though. So that's a little bit loose right there. We'll tighten that up. I think that's perfect right there. That E, um, that's perfect right there. That E, actually, you know what? This is a little loose. This could be tightened right here. And that E looks like it can get tucked in a little bit as well. So, so overall, you're a little loose here. I think your word spacing is fantastic. Really good breaks here. So we're, there's not enough of a break here to indicate a, a further pause. So it reads fire and ice, not fire and ice or anything like that, right? So your word spaces are great. Um, letter spacing for and looks to be just about perfect. That's lovely. Good job. And then over here in ice, I think we're a little bit tight right here. It's a little bit tight right through there. I think that the space between the C and E is great, but that could be loosened up just a touch. Okay, so that is what I'd like to see in your final submission. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions at all, please let me know.
All right, great start. Thank you very much.